warn you, be shocking to some viewers. It starts in the fly house. They've got a little pointed end and a blunt end. You've got the sheets on the floor with the, with the meat on for the flies to lay their eggs on. You've got the tray over here with the sugar on to feed the flies. That will hatch out into minuscule maggots intent on devouring every bit of flesh they can get the little mouths on to. Once the baby maggots are born, they're transported to their feeding beds in the warehouse. Here, they will be fed on a prepared meal of minced turkey and fish. Now, it's a bit ironic that we've fed them with fish because the maggots are going to be sold to fishermen who are going to use them to catch fish, so the fish are going to end up eating the maggots. It's a stomach-churning and back-breaking job, but someone's got to do it. This is the uh, <clears throat> first stage of the uh, maggot operation. We've got a vat here with some blow put in. That's all the baby maggots, it's, which is known in the trade as blow. And now, if we look at uh, another bed, we've got maggots here, which are approximately a day and a half old now. And you can see the difference in the size, and they're just devouring that meat there. I, I just look at them as a, a means of catching fish. They've kept me in a, a means of earning a, a living for the last 30 years. I know they look disgusting to some people, but us fishermen love them. Some people call them beautiful. I don't think you could call them beautiful. <laughs> Couldn't compare them with my lovely wife, anyway. <laughs> She'd kill me. <laughs> Look at them, eh? A natural eating machine. That's all they're interested in, is eating food. The transformation from ravenous babies to full-blown adult maggots takes just over a week, from hatching and being fed to ending up on a fisherman's hook. At any one time during the summer, with something like seven to 8,000 gallon of maggots, which, fully, when fully grown, would give you six, seven lorry loads of maggots to be delivered. Now, that's an awful lot of maggots. Never had an aversion to touching maggots or anything, but a lot of people just can't get on with them. They just can't stand it. They can't stand the atmosphere in the maggot houses or anything. Tell you the truth, I look forward to coming to work. Don't think there's many people that can say that. Mm -hmm. Like that, you know, walking walk straight out again, like. And then you're getting some bags that walk in and just, you know, don't bother them, like, you know. Just look straight into it, like, you know. Uh, don't bother them, so. Like nature, really. You know, you know enjoy watching them grow, you know, feeding them, you know, making them survive, like. I've uh, been roofing, uh, scaffolding. But at the end of the day, I always come back to this. Some of the maggots not sold are allowed to turn into casters, which eventually hatch into flies. People think that it's a horrible, disgusting, nasty job, this maggot breeding. But don't forget that the maggots is all part of nature's life cycle. As you can see, because they started off orange... The casters the... end up in the fly room to start up the cycle once again. Which is hatching. You can see the flies coming out of that rusk. Some of them are half out the shell, some of them, some of them just hatched out, but the wings are still wet and they're not, not ready for flying yet. And it's just a, a really nice place to be. Well, once again, we've safely navigated our way through another edition of Hard Labour. And hopefully after all that, you'll fly safe in the knowledge that the people at Air Traffic Control at East Midlands Airports have a technological solution for every eventuality, even when the lifts break down. Oh. Now we move from flying to flies, or maggots to be more precise, as hard labour brings you the rock and roll. <laughs> Now we move from flying to flies, or maggots to be more precise, as hard labour brings you to the line. <laughs>